Optimizing your Amazon PPC campaigns for a low ACOS is much easier than you think. In this video, I'm going to show you how to systematically lower your ACOS and optimize your Amazon PPC campaigns for increased sales velocity. And trust me, you'll be surprised on how easy this is. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. That way, as I give more tips like this, you'll get notified. Now real quick, I just wanted to show you that last month, Amazon recently made uh, the Vine program free for Amazon sellers who are brand registered. So just a little bit of Amazon news. If you are brand registered, I would look into getting the Vine program uh, enrolled for your product. That way you can get up to 30 reviews basically for free, whereas this service was only available to vendors. And recently, I, I don't know if this is part of some new uh, rollout promotion that Amazon's doing, but um, this service used to cost, I think, upwards of $7,500. And now Amazon's letting you enroll your product for free. That's up to 30 free reviews for your product if your product has less than uh, 30 reviews, actually. So if it's a brand new product and you are brand registered, uh, I would take advantage of that. You, you'll see it under your advertising uh, icon. Just drop down, click on Vine, and put your ace in there and, and enroll up to 30 units. Um, we've already, you know, for one of our test products, we enrolled on December 13th, almost a month later. And uh, so far we have 15 reviews on the way and, you know, free reviews can't hurt, right? So if you do plan on selling on Amazon, you know, for the long term, I would consider getting a registered trademark and registering your brand on Amazon because who knows what other neat and awesome promotions like this that they'll continually offer in 2020. All right, so one of the fastest ways to begin optimizing your Amazon PPC campaigns for profitability is to first look at your average cost per click. Okay, so this is a very important metric because this metric is going to show you the threshold that you're going to need to be under in order to systematically bring your ACOS lower. So if you just sign into your Amazon Seller Central account and uh, you're looking at your PPC dashboard right now, if you just click right here where, where it says uh, add metric, now once you click on add metric, you'll be able to see what your average cost per click is. Now, if you have several different products, I would recommend just creating a separate portfolio uh, dedicated. Each product will have their own dedicated portfolio. That way you don't uh, convolute all of the metrics into, you know, one average cost per click for all of your products. Each individual product will have its own unique average cost per click. So if you do have quite a few products, just organize it in portfolios. So that way uh, you can see on a portfolio basis what your average cost per, per click is uh, for each product. And so when you're looking at it, uh, so let's just look at the past 30 days, for example. If you see that your average cost per click, okay, let's say it's 33 cents, you know that in order to drive a lower ACOS, your average cost per click needs to be lower than the median average, which is 33 cents. So in this case, uh, what we would do is we would begin to lower the bids, maybe 10%, to begin to systematically lower the ACOS. Now, you don't want to uh, you know, adjust all of your keywords right away 10% uh, less. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna look at maybe some of your top performers, and with your top performers, drive the ACOS lower by reducing the bid, just so you can continually drive your ACOS down because you already know what the target is with the average cost per click. This average cost per click is getting the 24% ACOS. Now, for example, if you have a much higher ACOS or a much higher average cost per click, which I'm sure you do, uh, then you might have to do more than 10%. But this is going to be the easiest way to lower your ACOS by simply looking at what your bids are and just staying below the average cost per click threshold. All right, so let's dig even further into the data now. So I just clicked on our exact match campaign with an average ACOS for the past 30 days of 12.80%. Now, uh, let me show you what this looks like in practice so that way you can use this as a resource to begin optimizing your Amazon PPC campaigns for a much lower ACOS. So we know, for example, that this particular product, uh, we have to go below the 33 cents to drive our ACOS below that 24%, okay? So I wanted to show you that for all of the keywords that have 
an ACOS above that 24% ACOS at, on the average 30 days, you can see that we've actually lowered the bids 10%. Okay, now 10% might be a, a lot more than just you know three cents, but you can see we're keeping the bids here below what our average cost per click is in order to drive this 34% ACOS below to our standard 24% ACOS. I hope I'm not uh, confusing you guys too much. You basically, in order to drive that ACOS down, look at your keywords uh, and see which keywords are above your average ACOS for the past 30 days, 60 days, however long you really wanna go. And to easily drive ACOS down, simply lower your bids below your average cost per click. So this average cost per click for this account is 33 cents. We see that the ACOS is 34%, which is above the 24% average. So we're gonna drive the click, we're gonna drive the bids lower than the average cost per click, 30 cents, and we'll continually uh, optimize it that way. And so uh, we also have custom rules for this, for all of the Amazon PPC campaigns uh, to show you that if you're performing better than your, uh, you know, figure out what your profitable levels are with your Amazon PPC campaigns in terms of ACOS. If you see that your keywords are performing much better than your, if you're extremely profitable and, and your keywords are at that ACOS sweet spot for you where you're making a ton of money and sales, then you can actually begin to set custom rules where if you're below your ACOS threshold, then you can begin raising the bids you know, upwards of 20 to 30% because you know you're already doing extremely well. And I did make a recent video, uh, which you can check out right here, where I go over how you can actually find these custom rules and apply them to your own Amazon PPC campaigns so that way your, your campaigns will produce profitable results for years to come. So I just wanted to show you an example of one of those is, uh, if we just go back to the top here. So this is below our 20% ACOS goal. So since it's below our 20% ACOS goal, we'll actually raise the bids upwards of 20% above Amazon's suggested bid, right? We're not at the max, we're just above Amazon's suggested bid. If you check out that video, I'll go into detail on how to figure that out for your account. And so I just wanted to show you uh, real quick that this ACOS is above our threshold, so we have the bids lower. And let's do another example just to show you again. So here's another one, boom, okay, so this one's above that threshold, so we wanna keep the bid below our average cost per click. Again, it's only down, uh, we only have it dropped 5% of just a penny. Uh, that five to 10% can be a lot more for you. Just go through the data and see where your ACOS is above your average ACOS or above your profitable, uh, above your profitable levels and begin to optimize from your average cost per click. Instead of having to, uh, you know, instead of trying to guess what that is for your account, just click add metric, you'll see it. Now you know exactly what your target is that you need to be under in order to get your ACOS much lower. Now the next best way to begin driving your ACOS lower is by simply pausing the bleeders. Some keywords are just going to be too competitive for you to compete with them on Amazon. So if you begin to see that you have some keywords within ACOS, let's say above 200% plus, it might not even be worth the time to lower your um, bids because just that keyword might be too competitive on Amazon. So when that happens, it's best just to pause that keyword altogether. Don't waste any more money, even though you might be getting some sales, it's just not going to be an optimal performing keyword for your business. So it's best to just remove the headache altogether and pause those keywords and then just simply add more keywords to your flow to begin adding profitable keywords to your campaigns. Now at Zonrush, we actually do have our own internal proprietary AI software that does these optimizations on a daily basis for our clients that allows them to now focus on expanding their brand. Now, if you cannot edit your uh, campaigns on a daily basis, because let's face it, you know, life happens and you're busy, I would at least recommend optimizing your Amazon PPC campaigns every seven days with the strategy I've just shown you. 
Now, if you want to learn how to create these same types of campaigns for your Amazon product, then check out this next video coming up where I show you how to optimize your Amazon PPC campaigns step by step, very systematically, and for you to set your own custom rules for your campaigns to follow so you too can produce extremely profitable results in your Amazon business. And don't forget to join my private Facebook group. I'll have a link below in the description for you. That way you can be surrounded with hungry Amazon sellers like yourself where we exchange and share what's working and what's not working today with other Amazon sellers.